Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, The Crazy Foursome. So today we're going to be talking about our new purchase, which is a... Static caravan at a holiday park in Yorkshire in the UK. Which is a park theme and it is called Caton Bay. Which is just near Scarborough. Um, sort of in between Bridlington and Scarborough. Yep, so yep. Scarborough's got a bit of history between myself and Sarah, eh? Yep. Because when me and Sarah first started dating, um, Sarah was actually at... University. Don't breathe like that. It's not that bad, is it? Yeah. Sarah was actually at university in Scarborough. So I spent quite a few weekends over that way when we were younger, eh? Yeah, so there is that history. The beaches are lovely as well for... You know, and it's not too far away from home. No, it's uh, like an hour and 20 minutes, an hour and 40 if you have it rough. Yeah. But yeah, uh, nice and close. Nice little drive. So, what was your drivers for choosing this particular caravan? They were available. <laughs> there were nothing about, nothing about any caravan that sort of drew me to it. It was just a matter of, this one were available. It ticked the boxes of being able to sleep us all. Um, our middle boy Ethan is obsessed with sofa beds. So we had, that's his phone coming up on the screen. So we um, we looked at one caravan and it was quite, it was quite darkly decorated inside. All the wood effects were all really dark and I found that a bit too dark that had that had like three double bedrooms, whereas this one that we've gone for only had two double bedrooms, eh? Um, but they're, they're one's a master space. room, then there's another double room with two single beds in. So, but the one that we've gone for seemed to have a lot more inner space as well, I felt. Yeah. And obviously in the lounge, the sofa converts into a double bed as well, which... For our young boy, Ethan, it was a massive selling point for him. So um, it was a no-brainer, really, I thought, because it were a nicer caravan. We could rent it. We could rent it through Pat Dean because it's got to be above a certain age in order for you to be able to rent through Pat Dean. That's so we've got two years left on this caravan because it's a 2014 Whereas the other ones that we're looking at were 2012 under, so we'd have had to rent through ourselves. And with us being first timers to this, we didn't, wanna... we didn't really want to do that, did we? No, so it just takes the stress out of it a little bit. It allows them to make sure we're doing everything correctly. So, yeah, that was a massive selling point for that one, really, in my head anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I just want to touch a little bit on the customer experience that we went through. I'm sure Sarah's touched on it in the previous video, but I think although when you buy when you're buying something of that scale, you do expect good customer service. I found it exceptional, really, to be honest with you. Um, when we arrived, the guy was there to greet us um, straight away, offering drinks and snacks. Um, our children. Within about half an hour, we were sugared up to the nines. Um, <laughs> myself and Sarah were well watered with cups of tea and yeah, fizzy no, drink for Sarah. Friendly. Very, very friendly, very welcoming. Gave us a tour of the site. Yeah. Then they gave us fifty pound meal vouchers and free activities for the and, kids. Yeah, which equated to about hundred pound, and we're not even committed to anything at that point. But so. it also the. The benefit of that was, even if we'd committed or not committed, we could see the benefits of enjoying time at that park and yeah. um, what we'd see. Because you don't really want to buy somewhere that you're not going to want to be visiting on a regular basis. Yeah. And, unless you're just buying it to solely rent out. But yeah. Yeah, so um, part of that experience where the kids got to go on a main activity, which would have cost us about, what, 30, 40 pound? I'm not sure, to be honest. So, yeah, so the the children chose high ropes. Um, then they went in the swimming pool. So they did the swimming, sorry, then the high ropes. So Sarah hung about with them to do that, whilst I went for a walk on the beach. So what were your experience of the activities? So you... 
Yep, I did the you pool. You just did the pool. I didn't go on the pool. I was able to sit and watch the children. And it had lifeguards, which I thought was amazing. It had a water slide or a couple of water slides for them to be able to enjoy. It wasn't like a deep, like you wouldn't be doing lengths in the pool, but it was warm, clean. There was reception staff, there was lifeguards and great changing facilities, toilets. So just like going to any leisure centre, but I thought, yeah, re really they're looking after their customers by having that sort of level of safety and the kids can just have fun. Even saw lots of little babies in, so it must have been warm enough to keep them safe and happy because yeah. you don't want to take a newborn, not a newborn, but a, a young baby in cold water. So that was also a benefit to see so many people having fun, nobody causing any problems. There was water coming out like, what do you call it like fountains yeah fountains mm -hmm. for the kids to, like on a little island thing that the kids could play and squirt each other with and stuff so that that was fun it's and what i saw as an advantage here is we didn't have to book a swimming time and i don't believe you have to i'd have to double check that um you can as long as you've got your pass you can turn up and go swimming whereas we've been to other holiday parks and you yeah. have to book slots and sometimes it's so full you don't get a slot and to me it's just great to be able to go and have that time to yeah. be able to enjoy it really yeah. as much as you want wear the kids out before bed and yeah mm. so while sarah were doing that with the children i went on it was solely my usp unique selling point um which was the beach so while Sarah was in there with the children, I took our little dog Maggie for a walk along the beach and I was blown away. The scenery down there, all the rock formations were amazing, but it was the sea. The sea sold me because when we lived in New Zealand, I started getting into surfing. And when we were speaking about moving back here, I did a quick Google search on surf spots in the north. And Kate and Bay came up as a top one. So before I'd even visited it in the current days, because I did go when I was younger, but I could never remember it. Um, even without even visiting the place, it were at the top of my list of places to go, whether it be caravanning, tenting, or hiring a static, but we've just never been able to get anywhere. So because they're always rented out pretty quickly. So when Sarah mentioned about potentially going to look at buying one, because I had my heart set on getting a touring caravan, but when Sarah spoke about buying one, there only one site I were going, and that was okay, Kate and Bay, even though I'd never been there in the and modern day. And it's dog friendly. Yeah, dog so friendly. So we can take our dog along with us, and I think we've selected the option we will, we will let... We will let to um, Maggie. Maggie, come here. This is our dog. Our, our boy wants to show you the dog, so here we go. So she can come with us. She's not really a dog. She identifies as a dog, but she's really a baby in a fur coat. So she can come with us, and our let will allow pets. Yes, so we're going to make out when we haven't got onto that yet, but we are going to be renting the caravan out to the public through Park Dean. However, we will be letting ourselves as well to fill any voids in. So we are making it pet friendly. A well-behaved dog will be welcome in our caravan. No naughty dogs though. Yeah, so that's that. So on to the next bit, which probably what people want to know about is the costs. Because the costs. I'm sure a lot of people are thinking about why you would buy a static caravan. And the biggest driver I'd say would be cost. Um, because it it is an investment. Yeah, it's a big it's investment. It's a massive big, investment. Big investment. Um, however, I look at this as this could be where our holidays are. We may yeah. we may not decide to do overseas trips. We may or may not. We'll have to see how that one goes. But for what they cost us now as a family of five. Yeah, it's very which, hard because with the new school rulings, you're not allowed to leave a leave a country during school term time, which makes it very difficult for us because. Straight away, the holiday providers, like half terms, school school holidays, boom, the prices go from £50 flights to £300 flights per person one way. Then on top of that, you've got your hotels, accommodation, not to mention any spending money. So as a family of five, we're looking at between 7 and 8 k nowadays. And not just that, our second child will be 12 this year. So we're looking at then two adults plus two 
teens. Yeah, which, which then come adds into adults. Fear. Yeah. Yeah. So um. So that's that's part of a driver's cost. I don't. Yeah. I don't know how that will work, but for physical purchase, I think we paid about twenty five. K yeah. for the van? It, well, it wasn't 25k for the van, it was like 21k for the van. No, that was after deposit. After the deposit. Because ha we had to pay a 10% deposit. <laughs> She's the money girl and the brown. I think it was around 25, but within that, I might be slightly off. Um, we had to pay for, there's costs because the van isn't on a site, which is something I didn't realise. Yeah. They moved them off or some of them off. Um, because you, you choose the site you want it to be on and they have different price sites. Yeah. So there is the moving it back on, there's connecting it, there's insurances, there's making sure it's clean. There's a whole realm of costs. And I think that came to around 25. I believe we got a small discount on it as well. Yep. Um, and then we chose a site and now we don't have any fees until the end of the year so yeah there's no ground rent up until the end of the year and so from there that is 3995 but it is 4995 no 3995 3995 and it's going to go up by five percent we believe for the next um next calendar year yeah um so we'll have that to take into consideration but you can offset it i believe against any rent you've got yeah but so this year so the 2025 season, we're going to have to pay for it ourselves, but... So that kind of summarises the cost. If anybody wants to know anything specific, just let us know. We've, yep. We've got so much information, which we're lucky to have. Just um, just comment and we're happy to, to answer any questions. Yeah. Because we're all very new to this, but I think that's where it's good to share our experience because I'm sure other people have considered this as an option. But I'm sure there's bits like us that I'm still learning as I go along and I keep yep. having to ask the people at Park Dean, what does this mean? And I, I'm sure I'm rather annoying, but yep. I'd rather know how it, <laughs> yep. I'd rather know how it worked properly and know I've signed up to the right thing for us as a family. Yeah. And know how it all works and we even have like a website i'm not sure if it's an app we can go on to where we can monitor everything our costs because yeah we do have to pay there's other things like gas bottles electricity business yep. rates all that is the sort of things that they will bill us for so yep. we need to be able to keep an eye on that and make sure we're making sure they're all paid so i know a little question a lot of people do have is how much does a gas bottle cost so for one of the big I think the 45 kg are they? I'm not the sure. big bottles 45 kg approximately. I think they work out at around 90 pounds. Give or take. Give yeah. or take. So a big 45 kg bottle is expected to last approximately three weeks. Three weeks? Yes, based on its usage. So if you've got the central heating on all day, oh, yeah. and you're using the oven a lot and getting longer showers, then obviously that could could affect how much use you're going to have. So basically, the more gas appliances you have on for the amount of time, the more gas you're going to use. So obviously, as owners, if we're in there ourselves, we'll be a bit more conscious than if people are yeah, but in there renting it. So, stay there, so yeah, they are. So, um, so yeah, that's just something that, People may want to factor into consideration when you're getting the caravan. Um, so, yeah, so... Um, so, and another bit that I was a bit like, oh, how does that work? Is the cleaning and, like, people being in and out. And they, if you rent through them, they have a... a they charge and they take 30% off what they're charging you, I believe. So, we would be... We would receive 70%, obviously. You've got to remember it's an income, so I think about your taxes, etc. But I'm not going to give advice on that. That's for you <laughs> to understand yourself. Um, but that's just something to consider. Um, so, yeah, so that's just... Yeah, um, so you were saying how it works. Um, so we were a bit confused because, obviously, if we're renting it, we're the owners, so we're staying in it. So, basically, if we... When we get the keys, we're going to be taking our own bedding and going and staying the first night when we get the first and second night when we get the keys. Just have to sign it, all the documents. Um, so we'll be um, we'll be having a little holiday ourselves. But when we leave, 
their cleaners will then go in and clean it and put the bedding on ready for our first tenants or, or guests not guest tenants, tenants <laughs> guests I, I don't know i'm new to this so i don't know the terminology as such so our first get the holiday site will go and clean it make the beds get everything ready for our first guest arriving sure they've got passes all that sort of stuff yep so. So they'll have their holiday there, hopefully they'll have an amazing time like we do and when they leave they will go in and do the same again so they'll give it a good clean they will, well I'm saying a good clean, maybe not to my standards but I'm a bit uh, of a perfectionist I'm pretty sure they will be, when I um, see them they all look pretty clean and we've But never... um, yeah they change the beds again, give you new beds so Well not new beds not new beds, a certain new bedding, but you know what I mean. Um, and another benefit of this park is it's open 12 months of the year. Yes. However, they don't have the facilities open, I think it's sometime in January. It is, from until... the first week in January till the 14th, till like the sort second week in fact. Half term. The six weeks. Six weeks in January. In February. Yeah, we're January and February where the the park is still open. So like ourselves as audio owners, we can go, we can stay in our caravan. We could rent it if we wanted yeah, to. Yeah, if we could but rent I'm it out. I'm not sure if people would want to go without having facilities yeah. fully open. I don't think that's... So it, that type of people that I'd apply to those, like those that want to go into Scarborough, go on nice yeah, cliff yeah. walks, beach walks. Yeah, potentially. Um, any psychopaths that want to go surfing in the sea, wouldn't say, but people that don't mind cold water. Um, but yeah, it, it could it could still be appealing, but obviously... In a different way. In a different way, because you can still go, you can stay in the caravan, but none of the facilities are open. So... That's a bonus for us, because yeah. every time we could be using it and enjoying yeah, it. Yeah, enjoying it. Um, mm -hmm. Just be a bit cold that time of year, so the dip in the sea would be a bit more refreshing no, than normal. Be. But anyway, so that's <laughs> that's about it on the costs why we purchased it. Week two, because we purchased it, um, well, we're into week two now. Um, we were told it could take two to three weeks for this van to be ready. But as I've investigated, it's going to take a little bit longer because of stuff they need to move. So it's probably going to be more like the four and a bit weeks that it will be before it's ready for us, which is fine. Yep. Um, Gives us more time more to prepare. Yeah, because we need to get a few bits, i.e. TVs, TVs, vacuum cleaners, coffee yeah. machines. Even though we're not coffee drinkers, we want to put stuff in. We're good guys, so we're putting um, a coffee machine in for all our guests to enjoy. And um, the type of guys we are. There'll be uh, there's other bits. But and our price, it does come with an inventory, so like all our plates, um, all that is provided as well yeah, by the. It, we're getting a new park. fridge. They're putting new mattresses on all the beds. New uh, carpets down. New, I believe new carpets, all that sort of mm. stuff. So all the water systems flushed out and everything. It's all ready to go, so it's like a brand new van, really. Yep. And they have a whole list of things they can do for maintenance as well, which I thought was pretty good. Yeah. So if you wanted something easy where you don't have to do anything, you can just pay them. Mm, deep cleans, it. carpet yeah. cleans, jet washing the outside. To keep it nice and keep it yep. well. Well, you don't really keep value on a caravan, I shouldn't say. No. That because it's, they are going down in value every year. Um, so that it's not a financial investment. No, really. I'm just going to say that before we finish this video, if you are thinking about purchasing a static caravan, same as what myself and Sarah have done, don't buy into it as a business or an investment because it's not an investment. You're buying into a lifestyle. I mean, some people may be able to do it and make money if they've got multiple. I don't know. Um, but as a for us, it's more about um, family memories and that sort of yeah. thing. So for us, that's how it works. Uh, we're not doing it to make loads of money like you would by buying a house, etc. It's 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 a different sort of yeah. We're doing it to bring back the crazy memories, the crazy foursome memories. Yeah, so I yep. think we've probably spoken enough. We've probably bored everyone half yep. to death. But hopefully the information is useful. Please do comment if you've got any questions and we will do our very, very best to answer them or find out the answers. Yeah, we're you. not claiming to be experts as well, so no hate on this. No. We're just sharing our personal experience. experience that we're going through so far. 
and hopefully help one of you two out there, one or two of you out there, sorry, to take the first step in to getting a caravan, maybe. Yeah, and hopefully creating some family memories for yourself. Yep. So, guys, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up, like Sarah says. Comment below with any questions, and we'll see you in another video.